Good day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph, and today I am with Amy, hey. and uh, we're gonna minister to ten people. Yes. If you'd also like to receive ministry in this way, you can write your name in the comments, and we would love to minister to you. We're also gonna be live on Monday night at six o'clock. Okay. So the the next person I want to minister to is Pietrus. Now, Pietrus, the Lord shows me how He sits with you as an architect and how you're a draftsman. And how he draws a plan for you that he wants you to build. And I just see all of this revelation come to you and this ooh and ah because you didn't think about it like this way. And it's quite interesting how God is planning your life. And then you go back as a draftsman and you go and draw it out properly with the electrical and the plumbing and the doors and all the views and all of that. Just like a draftsman would do for an uh, 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 architect. And I felt in the same way the Lord says that the smaller planning in your life He wants you to do. But the big picture, the vision, He is downloading right now and He's going to show you, He's going to give you a revelation. Especially for 2025 and 2026, I see those two is like one year in your life and how the Lord is just uh, helping you to manifest this big plan that He has for you. God bless you. Amen. God bless you, Peter. God loves you. This next word is for Sidoni. Sidoni, God loves you so much. And I just saw how the Lord says, you have a heart after mine. And I just saw how you found the Father's heart. You spent hours trying to seek God's face. And you keep on walking this path of like seeking God, loving Him, spending time with Him, receiving His love. Then I saw a picture of you handing flyers to people. And these flyers were maps of how to get to God's heart. And I just feel the Lord says, the ministry I'm placing you in, I feel like there was a lot of, um, like l the last two years has been very rough. And there was like all this army, these army boots and God had to co clothe you with, with his armor and really protect you because it was like you were out on the battlefield. But I just see how God says, okay, now it's trying to, time to switch positions and how the Lord is really calling you to be a messenger to people to say, hey, this is the way. Um, so Sidoni, I, I really want to encourage you. There's going to be a life, just feel the Lord says things are changing right now in your life. But I know what I'm doing. I'm bringing amazing people into your life that's going to help you that are amazing community caters and also just um yeah I, I just really feel god is really putting an anointing of your in your life to communicate um his love and and the and the prophetic messages through you god loves you god bless you Hey, so Danny, God bless you. Uh, so the next word is for Anthony. Anthony, I see, especially 2024, 2023, there was a massive mountain in front of you. But the Lord is giving you the anointing to crush that mountain into pieces. And I see a big, big stone, that's the mountain. And then it get crushed into small little stones, like 13 millimeter to 19 millimeter stones. And then you use that stone again to build the house of God, to build your business, to build your own house, to build a house for your family. And I see all the stones, all those problems that were in front of you. The Lord gives you the anointing to crush those problems and to use that material as material to build for yourself. And so the Lord says, son, I'm making you productive. I'm making you like a skilled builder. I'm giving you resources and favor and plans and strategies so that you can build something amazing and it's not going to be just a one story or a three story it's going to be a 10 story and 10 is always a picture of the government of god that's coming through your life and i believe that government is going to go god bless you amen god bless you this next word is for renee renee god loves you so much and i and i saw a picture of how god was covering you with the blood of jesus and how put god puts a shield of protection around you and then I saw when you were like in that um, shield, God also gave you like this bouquet of roses saying to you, you're so precious. And it was like these roses were evergreen. It was like they never um, got old, they never dried out. And I just feel the Lord says, uh, my gifts for you are eternal. And there's a lot of heavenly gifts, um, things in heaven that, I've, um, that I, I'm keeping for you because I've seen your works and I know your heart. And um, Renee, I just saw a picture of how every day God is going to like give you like a rose every single day God's going to give you a gift um, because he loves it when you when you're happy and you receive from him and I just see how the Lord says hold on to that bouquet um, and and know that my promise for you for 2025 is overflow overflow with love overflow with joy but also overflow with um, I don't know if you love clothes or not, but I just saw a picture of a lot of um, beautiful clothes that you're going to receive in 2025, but a lot of clothes that you're going to like give away and bless people. So I just really feel the Lord says, I'm calling you to be a beacon of overflow. God loves you. God bless you. 
And hey, awesome, Renee. God bless you. Renee, you've been faithful for a long time. And so the Lord rewards faithfulness. He elevates and promotes people. He always says to the good and faithful servant, uh, you've been faithful to mul multiply the talents that I've given to you. And now I promote you. And so that's what the Lord also will do for you. Okay, so the next word is for uh, Marjorie. Uh, so Marjorie the Lord shows me uh, communication lines that is opening up for you and how you receive communication from God from the Holy Spirit how he opens the heavens to you and you have encounters with God how the Lord gives you uh, um, uh, platforms where you can study and you can learn and you can grow uh, also renew your mind and then the Lord shows me how you then start to communicate with others and build a network and how this network becomes a fishnet that can catch fish and can bring people into the kingdom of God but can also catch blessing for you and your family and so I just felt that the Lord says he is going to speak to you he's going to teach and train you but he's going to use you as a communicator and to build a network of communication God bless you Amen. this next word is for Dovi Dovi God loves you so much and I just see you in the presence of God it's like you're kneeling before God and he's like he's knighting you and how the Lord lifts you up and how you just spend time with him and it's just gold it's beautiful it's so much light um, I, I just I just really feel that there's a lot of um, experiences with his glory you're going to have and then Dobie I feel like there's been a lot of attacks over your joy and I feel that 2024 especially like in this time was a time to take back what the enemy has stolen and but I feel the Lord says I don't I'm not only bringing restoration I also want to bring things to another level and I just saw how God you got your crown of joy back but it was still like God took off that crown of joy and gave you a brand new one not the joy of the past or the things of the past but a but a crown of now the equipment of now that you need for your calling that you are doing now and I just feel there's a lot of things in your mind that the enemy is saying to you you're too late or if this is too early you can't and I just feel the Lord is really um, speaking so much life to you he's reassuring you I, I feel the Lord is growing you and may and planting you right, like right by his river the Lord says this is a time of growth and this is a time for your ministry um, it's like time to shine and I just see how God says that I'm going to teach you to walk in my glory and really um, um, just be a leader to a lot of people God loves you so much just receive that new crown of joy God bless you hey that be uh, the Lord loves you yeah. and I just see how the Lord makes you soft soft so that you can receive uh, his joy and his love that he's pouring out on you God bless you Dobie yeah. so Sunita uh, the Lord is uh, uh, talking to me about in the last days uh, my old uh, men and of course women uh, will receive uh, uh, dreams and they will see visions uh, and my men and my women servants will prophesy and I felt that the Lord says I'm pouring out my spirit upon your life and you're going to see many many visions you're going to have many dreams the Lord yes. is going to speak to you about your own life about people in your family people around you he's going to warn you sometimes he's going to bless you he's going to show you uh, things just because you are in a relationship with him and you walk with him and he loves you very very much uh, and the Lord shows me a vision in like black and white dark and then the vision turns into color uh, and you can see clearly and it's vivid and you can experience it and even in those times while you see the vision the Lord is pouring out this fragrance oil on you and you can spill uh, uh, you can smell that fragrance of God and it changes and it heals your life God bless you Amen God bless you God loves you this next word is for Joanna I see you in front of this um Paint this canvas, right? But it's it's there's nothing on this canvas. God has given you the paints, God has given you everything, but it was like and you've been painting for a while, but you're like, God, I haven't done this long enough, and I, I just feel the Lord says, um, your past experiences, the different places that you've been in your life where I've been with you, um, I just see how God is just bringing that all back to you, and how you look at it in gratitude, and you're like, wow, God, thank you for all that you've done, and also how God ministers to your heart for the things that are done in the past that has hurt you. It was like there were some arrows in there that God has taken out so from your back, and God has totally healed you, and I just feel 
that restoration um, or just looking back all those experiences you just put in this painting like your testimony but also just making a song of how wonderful God is I just I just feel like uh, a not song of painting but I hope you know what you're say, I'm saying I, I just feel the Lord says that um, you have everything that you need to to paint something beautiful and I am looking at your hearts but I, I just see how God is training you um, to 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 do things in worship but also in excellence for him and I, I just really want to encourage you, uh, now is the time to start painting. Um, I, I just feel God is doing so much restoration and He's loving on you and He's bringing so much freedom into your life. Where, you know when you paint it and it's not really easy to paint when you're, when you're stressed. And I just feel, and it's, it's a very peaceful um, thing to do. And I just feel God takes away all stress and He gives you so much peace and freedom in this time for your life. God loves you. God bless you. Hey, thank you very much, uh, uh, Joanna. God bless you. Okay, Lydia, um, the Lord shows me the Israelites receiving manna and quail from God, supernatural provision uh, to feed them and to keep them, but they were still in the desert. And then the Lord says, go over the promised land into the new land that I'll give to you. But in that land, you're not going to receive the manna and the quail. Uh, the Lord says the land will provide for you. And then there's a land filled with milk and honey. That means there's a lot of uh, cows and goats and sheep. And there's also uh, a lot of plants and things that's planted and harvests and of course the the honey uh, comes from honeycombs and so the lord is just showing to me the, how the lord says he's moving you into a land into a place into a position of of promise that he has for your life and how that promise that land will provide for you and how you walked in survival mode just receiving the bare minimum uh, provision that you needed uh, like the Israelites in the desert but i see how the lord says i'm going to bring expansion and i'm going to put you in a position where you have ownership and you can grow and be blessed god bless you lydia amen god bless you lydia god loves you you are such a blessing this next word is for dawn hi dawn it's nice to see you dawn god loves you very very much and um while praying for you i saw a picture of um uh, the cloak of many colors and I just see how God is clothing you right now and I saw a picture of how your feet were um, very very dirty and it was like you were you were out in the fields and you were working very very hard for God and his kingdom and I just see how you come inside after a long day of work um, and, and it was for it is for God uh, and I and I just saw how you stand you sit down and how Jesus washes your feet and then you start crying I think I would cry like crazy too and and I just see how Jesus says I want you to receive in the season I want you to allow me to wash your feet and I want to heal you because I felt like also um, there were some cuts on your feet as well and I just saw how God like gave you he washed your feet he put like a balm over it and he gave you new shoes I see how he wraps a blanket over you and I just feel the Lord says you are my daughter I love you and I'm going to take care of you uh, I just feel God is just reassuring you and giving you a promise and then he gives you like even like hot chocolate like this is like such a special moment um, and then I saw a picture of then God takes you into the next room right after you got you got healed and this next room was like there was like a blueprint on the table like this big plan that God has for you and he and, and you're like holding this hot chocolate you've got this blanket over you and God explains like this whole plan that he has for you for the next five years and I just feel the Lord says my plans for you are good I have so much vision in your life I'm not done with you and I just feel the Lord is really giving you a brand new hope um, for your life God loves you so much Dawn Go, come into the presence of God and allow him to love on you and do all of that for you and then after that go into the next Room, God is calling you to walk in and just spend time with him and ask okay God what is the plan and let God passionately tell you his plans for your life because he he's, he loves you God loves you God bless you hey Dawn God loves you very very much uh, family we love and appreciate yeah. each one of you uh, thank you for being part of unity with heaven uh, I also want to encourage you to check out uh, Amy's channel Amy Storm and she sings the worship music to the Lord so uh, she really wants to have a career in her life yes. of singing worship and making music to the Lord. So, And I believe she's going to do well. Uh, family, I love and I appreciate each one of you. Uh, we're going to be back again Monday evening, 6 o'clock South African time. We look forward to see you. God bless you. Thank you for joining Unity with Heaven. Remember to subscribe, like, comment and join our newsletter. If you want to support us, please click on the PayPal link. May God bless you abundantly. 
Remember, you are valuable and we love and appreciate each one of you. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, please click here.